uh, GT. And for today's project, you're gonna need some uh, 5W20 oil, and also a, um, the oil clip that goes along with it. And the uh, filter number for this is D3410. And then you're also gonna need your um, your 16 millimeter to um, get the oil pan gasket, I mean the oil pan nut loose to start draining the oil. All right, so now in order to drain the oil, you're gonna wanna loosen this plug. And if you've been running your car, of course, be careful because this is gonna be hot. And before I started this video, I went ahead and loosened uh, this drain plug. So don't think I'm Hercules. We should be able to just let it fall, huh? Mm -hmm. Or should I just try to catch it? I said try to catch it. All right, well that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just let that down. <laughs> and then you let, the, you let the vast majority of the oil drain out for, I don't know, five minutes until it gets to a slow drip. Now, as you can see, I don't know if this camera is doing it uh, any good justice, but it is definitely super duper black. Whew. That's beyond time to change. What do you think, PJ? Oh, yeah. So now, now that it's just barely dripping, what you're going to do is, careful because this is hot, uh, take your drain plug and put it back in the pan. Once you get it as tight as you can get it with your finger, go back and grab the wrench and turn it. Once it get just once it gets good and snug with this, just go like a quarter turn past tight. That's what I like to do. So we're starting to get snug. All right, and that's good. All right, so once that's done, you're gonna locate the oil filter, oops, which is right here. And then you're gonna to wanna to take your oil filter wrench to remove that. All right, now PJ is going to uh, start removing the oil filter. Do you think it's hand loose yet? Yeah, let's get the tray. All right, so since the car just got done running, um, PJ's using the rag to twist the oil filter off. Hang on one second. All right, if you can, just let that bad boy drop. Be careful though. Is it hot? Strong man. All right, so now that's off. Access oil is just gonna drain down and then you're gonna put the new one on. All right, so the next step that you're gonna wanna do is always put oil into the filter and then lube up this ring right here. So just take a little bit of this, pour it in there, and then get a little bit on the side. Take your finger, lube up this ring, if not, the oil filter where this right here will seize to the um, where the oil filter goes and it will be a nightmare to take off and then now that you've done that you'll just take this back and put it where you got the oil filter at oops oh, did you see that mm -hmm.
And then of course, as you can see, you're gonna need to wipe off access oil to finish tightening it the rest of the way. But once you have that, once you have the oil filter back in and you double check, make sure you have the drain plug in, you'll pop the hood and put the oil in. All right, so once you have uh, put the, oil, the new oil filter back in and you got it hand tightened and then you just do a quarter turn past that, you're gonna come over here and verify that your drain plug is good and tight. And then you're gonna lower the car and put the oil back in. the dipstick um, the tools that we used once again was this wrench with a 16 millimeter uh, oil filter wrench Quaker State 5w20 and then a Bosch oil filter and the filter number was D3410 and now we're gonna start the car up and check the dipstick think this um, this type of video is, is pretty good information and you want to see more like it I'm gonna leave a poll in the video any guys vote for more videos like this or not thank you guys so much for watching and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and as always thanks for watching and hit that like button peace out